on Tuesday afternoon blocked leaders affiliated to the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance from accessing the East African Portland cement site in Mavoko at the river of Machakos County where demolitions are taking place. And as Marian Nyambura now reports, the ongoing demolitions in Adi River have stirred an uproar with members of the Machakos County Assembly unanimously passing a motion seeking for the compensation of all affected individuals. On Tuesday afternoon, police officers manning the East African Portland cement demolition site blocked leaders affiliated to the Azimio One Kenya Alliance who are here to witness the magnitude of the demolitions. Opposition leader Raila Odinga, accompanied by Machakos Governor Wavinyandeti. Wiper leader Kalonzo Musioka's plea to access the site fell on deaf ears as police officers barred the team and guarded the site. We are allowed as civilians to go and see. We are not interfering with the time to see is not, is not yet. The operation no, is still going on. Not A lot of activities are going on there. We are not interfering with whatever they are doing. Opposition leader Raila Odinga castigated the government for giving the green light to demolish the homes and other facilities, terming the act as inhumane. Raila said it was unfortunate that the same government promised to desist from such acts during the campaigns. It is also ungodly. What is going on here is false eviction. The exact crime Ruto promised to bring to an end in July last year. It's a gross violation of human rights, the right to adequate housing at a time the administration purports to be working to ensure that everyone has shelter. What's going on here indicates a systematic disregard of recognized human rights standards. As the demolitions continued amidst the public outcry from the opposition, Matakos County Assembly members were on Tuesday morning debating a motion seeking to have individuals affected by the East African Portland cement land demolitions be compensated. The motion that was tabled as urgent was presented before the House by Siokimao Member of County Assembly Daniel Ndwiki. Forty members of the county assembly who are present for the assembly proceedings, out of the 60 members of the county assembly, unanimously passed the motion seeking to have the victims compensated for the loss. Today, as a county of Machakos, we can outrightly say that whatever is happening in the River is historical injustices. We need to draw back from where it started. It is very clear that uh, uh, miners of land are devolved in the county. And where there is an interest of the national government, the constitution is also very clear that uh, the national government ought to talk or dialogue with the county government to see how to work on what matters that are conflicting the national government and the county government. This did not happen in the whole. The Kenya National Human Rights Commission has also weighed in on the ongoing demolitions, which they termed as illegal and a gross violation to right to shelter. Evictions should be carried out in a manner that respect the dignity, right to life, uh, right to property, and the security of those people who will be affected by the evictions. There should be respect for the principles of necessity and proportionality during the use of force. And lastly, they should give the affected people the, pr the first priority to demolish by themselves in order to be able to salvage their property. The civil society group now says it will move to court to sue those behind the demolitions. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV. Related to that, the Directorate of Criminal Investigations has